Sometimes we'll need to work backwards. We'll be given the volume of an object, and we'll need to work backwards to find one of its missing dimensions. So in this case, we're working backwards to find the side length of uh, this pyramid. And notice they do tell me that it's a square base, so that's important to know. Well, even though we're working backwards, we're still going to start the problem out by finding the two things we need to know, uh, the area of the base and the height. So let's identify those things. That's what I need for my formula. Recall the formula to find the volume of a pyramid or a cone is uh, area of the base times the height and then divided by three. So let's figure out this information that I need. Uh, well, the height of the pyramid was given to me. The height of the pyramid uh, is 144 meters. So that was just given to me. Now the side length is unknown, or the base area is unknown. So I'm just going to put an X for the side of that uh, base. Well, they have told me it's a square though, so I know that that side's also X. All the sides are going to be X. Uh, so to find the area of that square, it's just side times side or X times X. So I'm going to say for my base area, all I can say is it's X squared. So let's go ahead and take this information information, get it plugged into this formula to see if we can figure out what that side length is going to be. So the volume was given to me, that's that 2 million number, so uh, 2,226,450 is my volume of the pyramid, equals, well, base area is x squared, that's unknown to me, times the height, which is 144, and then my formula has me dividing by 3 because I have a pyramid. So there's the equation I need to solve. There's a few ways you could go about doing this. Some people like to just do 144 divided by 3 right away, and that's fine. Uh, if that comes up as a decimal, though, here's another trick you could try. Uh, rather than dividing by 3, let's undo that by multiplying both sides by 3. So the 3s will cancel out over there, and I'll just double or triple the other side. So that's another way you could uh, get rid of that 3. So I'm going to do that. Uh, tripling that volume gets me 6 million. 679,350. And then on the other side, that 3 is canceled out. I'm just going to rewrite it as 144x squared. At this point, let's divide by 144. And that leaves me with 46, nope, 463,000. Nope, I was right the first time. Uh, sorry, checking my notes real quick. 46384, that'll be easier just to read off the digits. 0.375, so 46,000, uh, is equal to x squared. And finally, as my last step, to get rid of that squared power, I'll take the square root of both sides. So finally finishing out this problem uh, with my calculator, that side length comes out to be about approximately 215, oops, 215, 0.37, and then since this is just a side length, meters. So about 215 meters uh, would be the square base of that pyramid. Easy to check, just go ahead and plug that number back in your formula, uh, find the area of the base, which would be about 215 squared, and then use your volume formula. Make sure it comes out to be about 2 million and whatever we said the volume was.